It's, it's difficult to play LSU at LSU because, you know, you, I know Kim and I know that she's going to bring the fire and aggressiveness and everyone is ready. Um, and I think every player for LSU that stepped on the court set a tone, offensively and defensively. And so they made it difficult for us to get into our offense. They made it difficult um, for us to get second looks at the basket. And as a result, you know, I thought we did a great job in the first quarter, but we couldn't maintain that level of play um, throughout the game. And I, I think it definitely affected our second and third quarter um, that put the game out of reach. But overall, I just think LSU, I mean, they're growing, they're maturing, they're finding themselves. They're, they're, uh, you know, Kim has come here and given them an identity. And, um, and that's, it looks like that's what they needed. And they're, they're uh, firing on all cylinders right now. I know they just beat Iowa State. And, um, and I'm looking, I, I think they're going to have some, a great season. Coach, your team still coming together. You had some people that just got eligible. How's that going? Well, it's going good. I mean, you know, we, we have one kid that was playing early. She has um, some Achilles issues, so she's at home. We had another kid test positive for COVID, so she's at home. Both of them played significant minutes for us. Um, then, So now we have to play a kid who just um, got eligible. We have to play her extended minutes, and she's just not in game shape yet, and you know her, her uh, reaction time is not quite there yet. Um, then we got an early foul, foul trouble. So... You know, now you have to go to your bench when you, you ha you're in a rhythm and things are going pretty good in that first quarter. But now you have to rely on your bench um, because you have players in foul trouble. So um, we haven't had one practice this year with everybody in it. And so I, I think that's why we're, we're still searching for an identity, so to speak. Um, and I just think we need to plug up some holes and, and, and not continue to have the same type of one body language and two effort. Um, you know, my teams normally, if, if nothing else, they are in an incredible shape and they give incredible effort for 40 minutes. And we've got to get, um, I've got to find eight to 10 players that's going to give me that. And, and tell Kim that it was a charge because, because that's what the official called. Uh, yeah. No, um, I don't know if you guys know, we played um, in, a, in, in the championship game, and Kim uh, Mulkey poked the ball away from my teammate, Kathy Doyle, and she went, um, she went for a layup. Now, I just want you guys to know, from my perspective, you know, I didn't really play great defense anyway. <laughs> but they had been calling charges all game long, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to take a charge. I'm saying, man, I took a charge. It was the first and only charge I've ever taken my entire collegiate career, ever. I didn't take another one. That, uh, but it won us a championship. And looking back on it, it might have been a, a block, maybe. <laughs> but that ain't what he called. <laughs> so. Y'all going to keep this running forever. Yeah, you know, it's so funny. Every time I see her, I'm like, yo, yo, this charge is going the other way. It's going another way, Kim. No, she's just, you know, I, I just love her energy. I love Kim's energy. I love what she brings to a program. I love what she's bringing to LSU. And, you know, the mascot Tigers is perfect for her because she's at the top of the food chain. She is a hunter. She goes and get, uh, she goes to get them and, um, and she's relentless. And, and I love that about her and I love that about her teams. I did not get a chance to play her when she was at Baylor, thank the goodness. Yeah, um, I, I know I w there was another coach at TSU when, when um, they played in the NCAA tournament, um, Johnetta Hayes Perry. But, um, you know, I know Kim. You know, the, the kid, when we played in college with the corn rolls and two long, you know, pon ponytails, and um, she was a, a, a floor general then, she was a leader then. She was a firecracker then, and she's brought that passion to coaching, and uh, we're all better for it.